Hi, we are here with Roberto Benavieve. Now, this show is another dark comedy, and I know that you are an amazing executive producer on Weeds. How do you feel that that tone helped you with a similar tone here with 68 Whiskey, and would you say it is a similar tone? Oh, very much so. And I would say Weeds was kind of a laboratory for this show. That mixture of, of dark drama and dark comedy as well. And, and what Weeds taught us was to be able to go totally dark one moment and go totally comedic another moment and not be afraid that the audience wouldn't be able to make that adjustment very easily because they're very sophisticated and they can and they do and it's so much fun to write. So what do you hope that audiences take from 68 Whiskey? I hope they take the characters to heart and I hope they end up caring about them and that they love watching them and that they're curious what's going to happen to them and what the relationships, how they're going to unfold. Really it's a character piece and it's an ensemble character piece. So what drew you to this project and the idea of a show focused on army medics in particular? I grew up with MASH and it was my favorite show and it's kind of why I became a filmmaker and a writer to begin with so when someone brought me this property which was originally a um, Israeli format I jumped at it it was like wow I've been trying to write this show my whole life now I heard you also recently signed a deal with Showtime as well can you talk at all about that yeah well Showtime is also very much a home having been on weeds for eight years developed for Showtime been on kidding for now two years. Uh, Showtime was a home for us, uh, uh, for both me and Dave Holstein, who I signed the deal with. We formed a production company. And it's just great. And Gary Levine is wonderful, and David Nevins, and every we love everyone there. So it was a natural fit. So with shows like Ally McBeal, with Weeds, with Kidding, and now this, 68 Whiskey, all being kind of dark comedies, do you feel that you'll ever venture into other genres that may be far outside of that? Um, you know what? Oddly enough, no. Because I feel like drama bereft of comedy is very artificial to me. Comedy bereft of drama is very artificial to me. But the combination of the two is life. And that's what I see every day and it's what I live. So that to me is the tone I want to hit pretty much every time out. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. So excited about this show. Yes, thank you.